back at it again and um, <laughs> we've got an interesting one here you guys <laughs> you guys are not going to want to miss this one let's dive in yeah, there was quite a bit of confusion. People were saying they were going to lose five deputies and four. Let me explain. In six months, the West Hollywood Sheriff's Station will lose two deputies. They will lose three more six months after that. So to, to give you guys an idea of what is happening here, <laughs> West Hollywood has apparently gone ex extremely woke and are legitimately defunding the police. At a time where crime is on the rise, you, I mean, there's videos, I feel like on a daily that come out of people, broad daylight, broad daylight, breaking into cars, stealing stuff out of them. It, like, it, this isn't even at night anymore. This is broad daylight, just right in front of folks. Um, there, there have been a number of reports of people getting followed when they leave restaurants, you know, folks walking past restaurants to see, you know, who, who's got on a nice watch waiting for them to leave and robbing them as they're walking to their car. I've, I've even seen a video of some, some, some folks who were actually at an outdoor restaurant, tons of people in there sitting down, literally robbed in front of everybody, in front of everybody, broad daylight. Like just, just criminals just don't care anymore. And at a time like that, you choose now to defund the police. Something isn't adding up here. This, this is, this is just crazy to me. But let's, let's continue on. But a deputy will be reinstated in what they call the entertainment policing team. So the net loss really is four deputies. Watch. It's bad move. This area needs to be safe. It's not safe anymore. West Hollywood business owners, not the only ones questioning the city council's reallocation of sheriff money to the block by block unarmed the blue shirted security ambassadors program. Honestly, Christina, we actually increased the public funding uh, for our uh, community safety division because we added 30 block by block ambassadors uh, to patrol our residential streets. But the West Hollywood. <laughs> These folks are just absolutely, positively delusional. They're idiots. I mean, excuse my language. Excuse me. You know, I, I, but I mean, anybody with two eyes and a brain that functions sees and knows that that this is just an idiot move. Uh, talk talk about people losing their lives. You know, uh, we re recently, you know, there, there have been a lot of people that have come out and said, you know, a lot of women are going to lose their lives due to Roe v. Wade, which I, I don't think is, is true, even in states where they banned abortions, as far as my knowledge goes. And I, I could be wrong as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, if the woman's life is at risk, um, she can have, you know, the, the abortion that she needs in order to save her life, as far as I know. And if any state does ban that, I, I don't I don't understand why why they wouldn't want the woman to live. But it's, like I said, as far as my knowledge goes, you could still get an abortion. So that, that that that's a lie. But this is a situation where people will literally lose their lives. Criminals criminals are looking at this news coverage and are salivating, <laughs> just chomping at the bit like yes, mm hmm, no police, less police, who yeah. Hey, that, that, that's where we going. We going to West Hollywood. I could possibly, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. If, if crime was down to, you know, a record low last 50 years, crime is at an all time low. All right, cool. We're going to lay off a couple of officers. Fine. All right. I'll give you that one. But crime is at an all time high. <laughs> There's already not enough police officers or sheriffs roaming the streets and you're, you're taking some off of the streets. Oh my goodness. And you're replacing them with unarmed, just regular Joe Schmo folks with a, a blue shirt. What are they going to do with a person, uh, with a gun? Huh? What, 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 what's a bullet to a baton? It didn't even look like they had batons. <laughs> Top flight security of the world, Craig. If anybody has seen next Friday, yeah, I mean, what they, they got walkie talkies. <laughs> I need backup. What's your backup going to do? <laughs> I mean, kudos to these folks for trying to serve their community. I'm not, I'm not trying to bash them necessarily, but whoever came up with this idea is a complete lunatic, complete lunatic. This will never work. 
at least in my estimation, it will never work. I guess only time will tell. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't see this working. I don't see it working at all. Do you? Let me know in the comment section. First, uh, to patrol our residential streets. But the West Hollywood Sheriff's Station will lose four deputies, which concern neighborhood watch groups citing the 137% increase in crime from last year. 137% increase. Not 10%, not 20 not 30, not 40% increase. One, almost 140% increase. <laughs> Yo, you, you just can't make this stuff up. You know, you, you really can't. Seriously. Like, why are these people even in this position to, to make decisions? Because that, that just doesn't even add up. It, it really doesn't. You're just pushing an agenda at that point. Oh, yeah, crime's on the rise. So, you know what? We're, we're just going to get rid of our police. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Defund. 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 We, we, we got we to gotta keep the movement. Defund. People don't feel safe, and um, we wanted the sheriff's budget to be maintained or potentially even increased. He brings up how pedestrians are being targeted after leaving restaurants in the city and the uptick in store heights here. Surveillance video of a robbery at Giorgiano's fine jewelry and watches just a few days ago. At night is different, different streets. And now that the bar is going to be open till 4 o'clock. West Hollywood approving the late bar program pending state approval. At the same meeting, they cut the deputy budget, which worries the owner of the block party, smack in the middle of two bars. By defunding the police. You wow. So they approved. Hey, you can party till 4 o'clock in the morning. But your shares that are, that are there to keep you safe, we're getting rid of them. How does that, how does that make any type of sense? 137% increase in crime. But... The sheriffs that are there to keep you safe, going to get rid of them. What? Like, are, are, are these blue shirts, like, are, are they straight out of the Matrix or something and, like, can dodge bullets? Just, you know, they, they, they must be or something. Got to be, right? It's crazy. Not planning for extended bar hours. The block by block is good for certain things but when it comes to breaking up fights when it comes to knives at night to fund the police now i mean it's the worst time to defund the police sheriff alex villanueva sheriff, responding to sheriff. losing the four deputies at the west hollywood station by saying they want to experiment with your public safety and uh so they might want to start reimagining another line of work than being elected officials oh yeah if they're not going to represent the wishes of their own constituents now, a lot of the constituents we talked to seem to have preferred, they like the idea of the ambassadors. They really wanted to see more of them, but I think they would have preferred to wait a little bit until to see how that worked out before removing deputy sheriffs. Hold on, run that back. The ambassadors, they really, constituents we talked to seem to have preferred. Now, a lot of the constituents we talked to seem to have preferred, they like the idea of the ambassadors. They really wanted to see more of them, but I think they would have preferred to wait a little bit until to see how that worked out before removing deputy sheriffs. We'll have to see what happens. I'm Christina Gonzalez live in West Hollywood. I'm back to So some of these individuals in the area enjoyed the idea of the ambassadors, but apparently wanted to wait, which makes sense. Uh, we're going to wait to do that because crime is on the rise and businesses are getting broken into uh, on, on, on a nightly basis and people are getting followed to their cars uh, after, after they're leaving some of these businesses and restaurants in broad daylight getting robbed. I can't tell you how many videos I've come across uh, just from California alone where people are just breaking into cars in broad daylight. Just broad daylight. Don't care at all. Don't care if they're being recorded. Anything. Nothing. Just hop out, look in, boom, jump in, grab, leave, you know, hop, hop into the getaway car, peel off. I mean, they, they, they do it pretty fast. Like, they, they've become pretty efficient at, at doing it. I think I remember even, um, I forgot what sheriff uh, that was that even made a video. Uh, don't leave your stuff in your car. I think there was a video of a sheriff saying, hey, don't come here. It was somewhere in California. Like, don't come here. Crime is crime is rampant right now. So, like, they're discouraging vacationers from even coming there and also telling anybody that is there, don't leave your stuff in your cars. 
while at the same time crime is at you know a uh, hundred forty percent increase and they're approving you know uh four four a.m you know uh closing time for some club but they're defunding the police golly don't don't you just don't you just love the woke <laughs> oh man talk about losing lives i I, I hope it doesn't result in the loss of life, but I have a bad feeling that this decision will result in the loss of a life. And that life will be on those uh, woke individuals' hands that made this decision, this horrible decision, terrible decision. That's the only way I see this ending, somebody losing their life. Because these blue shirts, they can't do anything against a gun. It didn't even look like they had batons or tasers. They had walkie talkies. What are they going to do against a knife? We don't even have to talk about a gun. What about a knife? I need backup. It's got a knife. What is that going to do? I'm, I'm just, I'm just baffled at how anyone could even come to this conclusion. Considering all of the circumstances. Yeah, we're, we're just going to defund the police. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is, this is the best decision. Anyway. Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. It's right up over there. It's totally free. All right. And if you would like to support the channel more than you already have by watching it to this point, my PayPal link is in the description box below. Peace and love. I'm out.